So I got early access to the Planet Zoo Twilight Pack and was it expected of me to make something truly horrifying? Yes. Did I do that? Yes, because what's more terrifying than children? So today I'm going to be building a playground. But first we are going to start with our square shitters. We're going to be building a lovely wombat habitat. Let's get started. All right, was this video supposed to go up Monday? Yes. Did it go up Monday? I mean, you can see that it definitely didn't. This video was supposed to go up on Monday, but then life happened. Things needed to be done. And then I realized very quickly, I am not going to make the early release. Or at least when the NDA expired. So, um, yeah, you're seeing this either Thursday if I'm very quick with editing. Or Friday if I decide to take my time. Which I probably should. But then this week is just, it's just chaos this week. And also just a note on like the intro, I'm not terrified of children it's just it's fun to make fun of them because i kind of look at children the same way as i look at cats and dogs and it's just like you take your eyes off of them for five seconds and they just unleash armageddon i think everybody who has just like spent time with like toddlers or just small children just knows that when things go silent that's when you should worry <laughs> but anyways it's just it's fun to just I don't know, it's fun to make fun of children and animals. Anyways, let's get started talking about this build. Because I went for the square shitters. Because, I mean, just saying that square shitters is just great to me. Like, it's just, wombats are such funny animals just because their shit is cube shaped. And just think about that. Like, a lot of like or basically like 99% of all organic things don't come in squares. I mean, just look at the human body. Is there anything square? Yeah, there's not. Unless you ingested something that's non-organic. And then you have wombats who just shit squares or shit cubes. To... And I actually looked this is going to sound weird of like, I looked at the shit of wombats in Planet Zoo. It's actually tiny squares it, it or tiny cubes. I'm going to say squares and cubes interchangeably. I already know that because I have the memory of a squirrel. So, well, I, maybe squirrels have even a better memory. I have the memory of a goldfish. That's the correct thing. But yeah, I went for the wombats just because they have fun looking shit. <laughs> <laughs> and just because like yeah i didn't want to do the raccoon because i felt like you know everybody's probably going to go for the raccoon or like the skunk or like the fox so i was just like all right i already like wombats i know that probably most people are going to go for the raccoon first or the fox or any of the other animals i'm going to go for my square shitters and then i realized how am i going to fit this in naturalis because also like the expectation is probably that I would make something like truly terrifying and then the only terrifying thing that I did was a playground and making jokes about children <laughs> or at least children being dumbasses and terrifying but yeah I mean when it comes to just why I decided to build things it was just probably no one is or not or no one is going to go for the wombats at first but i'm probably there's someone who is also or has made a habitat for wombats i just don't really look at other planet 2 creators so i have no idea i live in a bubble under a rock i am patrick star actually that kind of fits with how much of a dumbass i sometimes am but yeah, and then it was just with like naturalis because I didn't want to do something terrifying or horrifying even though this is basically the Halloween pack. And so I decided, yeah, I'm just going to follow what I wanted to do in naturalis and, you know, go with that. Because I didn't want to build another haunted mansion. I've already done that once, not doing that again. I didn't want to build an entire castle because... Uh, I don't want to fall into the trap of building castles because once I begin with castles, I won't stop. I know that of myself. 
So I just built a habitat for the wombat. Then I realized, uh, yeah, um, how am I going to do this? Because it's just like, you know, I want to have like a sort of Australia section. I said at the beginning of Natural House, oh, I'm not going to really like put all the animals in like an Asian section and an African section. And then I realized I liked because all of the animals so far are kind of sectioned off like the African penguin and the fennec are close to each other and then all of the other animals were Asian animals so it was just like yeah I already liked you guys in I think the second episode or the third one I really have lost all track of time and life and everything life is a big void of chaos at least for me right now but anyways so then it was just like all right you know when it comes to like an australian or an oceania animal it was already just like yeah they are kind of rare in or rare at least to my knowledge they are kind of rare across like zoos in europe so it's just like yeah if they are getting like wombats they probably are going to just have an australia section and so now i really want to build a habitat for the koala I should probably do the good YouTube thing and do the other animals from the Twilight Pack, which I might do because, I mean, I still love raccoons. I mean, raccoons are basically just leaf in animal form. Foxes, I I like foxes. I just, I've seen or heard the noises that foxes make. I've seen videos of like foxes as like kind of pets and foxes are adorable. And then there is the skunks, which I just love because it's just like, you smell like shit or can make others smell like shit. We are going to be best friends. <laughs> like, this is just like the fun thing about the skunks. It's just like your biggest defense mecha mechanism is just smelling awful <laughs> or making your enemies smell awful it's just amazing i i just love weird animals so again no surprise that i decided to go for the wombats because they are weird they square or they shit cubes but anyways when it came to the build for the wombats it kind of was just like all right i'm going to kind of look at it's like architecture in australia I should say Oceania, but like 99% of people will probably, when I say Oceania, just think of Australia or will have no clue what I'm talking about because I think Oceania is probably like the most forgotten continent <laughs> because we just think Australia. So yes, I looked at like architecture in Australia and I was just like, yeah, this is just like standard modern architecture for the most part. I'm going to look at Aboriginal art. And then I saw like all these patterns with like this, like usually it's like patterns or kind of mosaic like stuff, but then in like very organic shapes, usually with like animals being depicted and such. And I was just like, yes, I want to do something with that. And so at first I thought like, oh yeah, let's make it a whole homage to Aboriginal art. And then I realized, yeah, probably shouldn't go that way because there's always going to be things that I will change just to make it look better and then it's not not much to Aboriginal art anymore so this was built with our Aboriginal art in mind it's not really an homage anymore because I changed things and so because of that I would say that's not really an homage anymore so it was just like a starting point, basically. And then I decided to also build a bridge because for some reason I thought it would be fun to have like the sleeping area or the shelter or burrow for the wombats off on like its own little island, which for a long time wasn't actually usable by the wombats. Like the island was like reachable, first of all. The bridge was just a nightmare because the wombats actually have like a slightly larger, like, or larger. They are just clunky animals a little bit when it comes to like how you, like, I had a very, or a much smaller bridge in mind, built it, didn't fit. And then I decided like, all right, I need to have a larger 
bridge just because the hitbox on the wombat is a little bit bigger than you would expect which is the case for most animals in planet zoo and then uh, yeah i think that for like 95 percent of the time the wombats couldn't actually reach that island for their burrow and then i removed some stones that were in the way or i think were in the way and now they can reach it and then for the thumbnail i tortured the wombat just by like trying to get it to stay in place and i was again very much reminded of cats and dogs i mean everybody has like at one point tried to take a picture of their pet and then it just like like you take or try to take the picture as soon as they have like a cute or funny pose and as soon as you get like your phone out or your camera if anyone still has like a separate camera and doesn't just use their phone but as soon as you get it out to take the picture, they just move. And they are just like, fuck you, bitch. I'm out. But yeah, anyways, back to the actual build. And actually, maybe back to the Twilight pack. Because I do like this pack. Which isn't that weird because I like horror. Even though I don't really watch horror movies, I just like scary stuff when it comes to just builds and just things that could be used for other things than just like your standard shoe so like with the twilight pack it was just like i really like this sadly i'm now in like my modern zoo or realistic zoo phase so i yeah it's when it comes to the twilight pack if you want to make like a realistic modern zoo you probably can't really use it except for like the times that you want to build a zoo at like fall or in halloween so it is a more just like well heavily themed pack which i kind of like like i kind of like that like plan zoo like the plan zoo team or frontier went this way just like having fun with the pack and no i did not at any point realize or realize expect this pack I really weirdly I didn't really have any expectations for like a pack I think like at like the start or yes yeah, start mid October I was like huh what pack are they going to do next and then it just left my mind entirely I completely forget forgot that we were like oh yeah there's another pack coming out and then it was just like oh yeah another pack is announced I still have a lot of footage from the previous build, like the African Penguin build, which thank you guys for making that one of the like best performing videos. <laughs> well, best performing videos. It was number one on like the ranking or is number one on the ranking. And I did not expect that because I have basically begun for a month by that point, which usually means your channel is dead. <laughs> like that's just like YouTube time. A month is a year two months you're just dead <laughs> like you're gone off the face of the earth so thank you guys when it came to the africa or the african penguin and the information center i still want to change a few things about that when it came to like the interior for the information center and i also like at first when it came to the playground i wanted to build the playground next or in front of the information center but at that point i was just like yeah, I've spent so much time on this build. I just want to get it out there now and not just spend three months building the same thing. Better to like let it rest now and then maybe come back later when I've like a fully like realized idea of what things I would like to add. So as to not kind of stick or get stuck in that one build. Anyway, I was also talking about the Twilight pack. <laughs> There's also the bats. Which I did see that some people were like speculating like, oh, is this a step a point or like a step towards birds? And I'm just like, uh, maybe I don't really like for sh for some time now. I just haven't had any expectations for plan two. I was just like, uh, maybe this is because of the internship. I know I talk a l way too much about my internship, but for whatever reason, for some time, I've just been like, yeah. And so is there. I like playing it. I don't really have any expectations further than that. Or I wasn't really like constantly thinking about it. 
I still love the game, but I was just busy with other stuff. So I didn't really think too much about it. And then stuff came out and then I realized, oh shit, I should probably, you know, get a move on. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, when it comes to the Twilight Pack, it's a very themed pack, which means that, you know, for most of or for most people playing Plan Zoo, it might not be the pack to get first. There's probably other packs that you should then get first for like the general player. And then when it comes to just like, if you want the Twilight pack, it's like, yeah, it's definitely like it's a Halloween pack, but the animals are fun. So the Twilight pack, I it's one of the few item packs that I would like get solely for the animals just because they're all kind of weird and i love weird animals i mean a weird person liking weird animals it's not that strange but anyways let's talk about the build and let's talk about the playground because yes i built a mouse or a hamster wheel like one of those giant ones that, that you know you you could potentially see at a playground you will probably see a kid face plant on it like at all points in this play build of the playground, I did not think of safety. Well, I did think of like, oh yeah, when it came to like the bridges, there should probably be railing with the one that can like sway, like the wooden bridge. There should probably be rope to make sure that kids are not falling off of it. But at any other point, it was just like, yeah, if you face plant, I'm probably just going to build like a first aid post next. That post is going to be very busy. They're probably going to charge you because natural is probably just going to charge you for that in some way. I just think that like natural is just like kept by the same company that like was with Eve Zoo where they're just like evil for some reason. I don't know why. I just love evil companies, I think. At no point during the construction of this playground did I think safety. At all points did I just think, yeah, I'm just going to build a first aid post next to this playground. If your kid face plans, cracks their skull open or whatever, you can go there. Probably happened. Like, I don't think that this playground is like the newest thing that Naturalis would have. It's just there. And there's probably just like some horror stories of kids getting hurt there. And they haven't changed it because why? <laughs> This really sounds horrible, like Naturalis is just like a place where bodies are just piling up every day. Hey, at least we now know how the Amar Leopards get their food. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more. And also, let's move on into the end results now. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.